What's up YouTube, bam, and welcome to another edition of Wolf King's Vids. In this episode we're going to be talking about a store I've been meaning to make um, uh, for a couple of days now. Um, three Muslim Americans killed in Chapel Hill shooting, lackluster media response. Alright. Now, three Muslim Americans were murdered at an apartment complex near the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, on February 10th, 2015, in what appears to be an anti-Muslim terrorist attack. All three were shot in the head. Hours after the attack, which occurred at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, there was very little media coverage and no national coverage by any major news outlets. It ultimately took 15 to 17 hours for leading news outlets to publish stories about the shooting. Okay. Family members have confirmed on social media that the victims were Dia Barakat, his wife, Yusser, Abu Salah and her sister Razan Abu Salah. All right. Okay, a couple of them, particularly um, Yusser and Dia Barakat, had only recently been married. The happy young couple had their entire lives ahead of them. Yusser had expected to begin. Uh, a DDS program at the UNC School of Dentistry in 2015 according to her LinkedIn profile she graduated with a bachelor's degree in 2014 and was 21 years old according to his LinkedIn profile Barakat had graduated in 2013 numerous media sources have reported that he was in his second year of medical school he was 23 Barakat had also created a Syrian dental relief program for Syrian refugee students in Turkey. He has now greatly surpassed his original goal of 20 grand. Razan was a UNC student as well. She was still a teenager at just 19 years of age. Her last tweet on her Twitter account on the evening of February 9th was a Vine video of her friend dancing to music in a car. Razan was also kept a tumblr blog on which she regularly posted her blog looks like it could have been any of ours yet she was killed because she practiced a different religion some reputable sources are claiming that the three were murdered execution style it is hard to verify because again the media has released very little information about this nine hours after the attack local media finally reported that 46 year old craig stephen hicks had turned himself into the chapman Chatham uh, County Sheriff's Office in Pittsburgh, North Carolina. He was charged with three counts of first degree murder. From what is very likely alleged killer Craig Hicks' Facebook page, it appears that he was incredibly, one might say, obsessively opposed to religion. Media sources are claiming the attack may have begun as a parking dispute. This ignores Craig Hicks' fanatical anti religious sentiment. It does not also. It also does not explain why Hicks felt it necessary to settle this purported parking dispute through murder. Two of the victims, as women who wear the hijab, were visibly Muslim. Given Hicks' extreme anti-religious tendencies, it should be assumed the religion of the victims played an important role in his targeting them. All right. Now, um, now all all, all that being said, I'm going to give my uh, just just my uh, two cents on this particular story. You know, it uh, honestly, it, it, it's a real tragedy that these um, three individuals were killed. They seem to be, you know, very bright, very, um, very promising young people. You know, they weren't members of Boko Haram or ISIS. They weren't fundamentalists that um, that wanted to kill anyone who didn't, um, you know, follow the word of Islam or anything like that. They were, they, they, they were honest. They were, you know, they were kind. They, 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 um, they, they just, they had, they had dreams and aspirations of their own. But you know, they were cut down in the prime of their lives. Now, I, I think uh, the lack of reporting on this issue is, is due to something of a bias in that, um, in that there's been a lot of uh, stigma against, you know, um, Muslims through, through, alien, through alienation or, or a form of, of xenophobia that, you know, because there have been, um, because they have fundamentalists on, on their side that, you know, the, the, the far right on the fringe that feel the need that 
that say that um, that America or, or like the Western civilization is, is attacking them or anything like that. That that because of that that mindset for a few fundamentalists, therefore all of Islam is evil, and you know th therefore we, we we should persecute them all or not or not treat them all as equal. You know, and and that's and that's sort of the mindset that's been Im embedded in the culture due to um, due to the recent uh, incidents that have occurred, like like with the Charlie Hebdo thing. But in this case, we're we're dealing with moderates that you know that honestly just just were mind their own business and you know were at the wrong place at the wrong time, and you know that that stuff happened. I I really think it's th that the lack of um, reporting is is due to that um, to that stigma because I, I'm pretty sure if they if they had some different um, categories like I'm pretty sure if they were white and Christian this would be all over, everywhere rep like reported um, to the top news sources. And and as for the um, the killer in particular, Craig Hicks, um, you know, I, I mean I I'm, I'm not exactly sure how how exactly you know this th this ended up due to the due to the lack of reporting on this but honestly if 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 you get into an issue like like over like over some like a parking space and it ends up in a murder i'm pretty sure it it like whether or not uh, you agree with their beliefs is irrelevant i'm pretty sure you're just a psychopath that needs to be removed from society because you are a threat to everyone and that's regardless of about what you believe whether you're a christian a jew atheist buddhist uh, scientologist hindu whatever that's that. That's just the case. And honestly, I hope we what we can learn from this issue is not to blame you know people for what they believe and don't believe, or like how how violence is correlated or caused or or whatever. But rather, we need we need to fight against the um, against the evils of xenophobia and um, and and uh, you know ignorance and hatred. Because that that's really that's really the darker part of human beings that that plague our society. We need to move. We need to move beyond that as modernity uh, moves forward. Otherwise, you know, we're just we're we're just um, you know just tribalistic um, animals that haven't um, haven't learned anything in our in our uh, like million year progression on this planet. So that being said, I hope we you know I hope we dare to know. I hope we. Um, move beyond this. I hope we honestly learn, you know, to to, to alleviate those those so, social issues, so that we can so that we can heal from from this issue and hopefully make it better for for people coming on down the road. But uh, but that being said, that's my video. Um, this has been Wolf King. Peace out. If you like this video, you know what to do. Later.